Hello ladles and jelly spoons, this week we're coming at you from a prune blasting factory in the little village of Grimsby. Yes, the channel that gave you Friday five minute facts. You know, that are never five minutes. Now gives you something so breathtaking, so stomach turning, so underwhelming that only we would dare. Ladles and Jelly Spoons, the YouTube channel that makes you clench your teeth and fling them at the PC screen. Welcome to Kai Mathy's YouTube channel. Welcome the Ladles and Jelly Spoons to this month's 20th anniversary retrospective review of a cross-platform action-packed beat-em-up video game Buffy the Vampire Slayer Chaos Bleeds Marking the fourth instalment in the Buffy the Vampire Slayer video game franchise, notably it's also the solo multi-platform game within the series. Setting a new precedent, this game was also the first to grant players control over other characters beyond Buffy Summers, while simultaneously introducing a robust multiplayer mode for an enriched gaming experience. The key to the book cap. Prepare for a new showdown against the forces of darkness as Buffy and her loyal crew return to the fray. Fitting seamlessly within the TV's fifth season, Chaos Bleeds acts as a missing episode, where the formidable vampire Kakistos and the First plot their sinister war. The Guardians of Light, Buffy the Vampire Slayer, along with her comrades Willow, a potent witch, Faith, a fellow slayer, Spike, a reformed vampire, and Xander, caught in the crossfire of his friends' battles, stand as the last line of defence. Ah, the sun spell. That should do the trick. In Buffy the Vampire Slayer Chaos Bleeds, you step into the shoes of each iconic character, embarking upon a journey to slay vampires, unravel intricate puzzles, and amass crucial items along the way, all leading to a climactic confrontation. Throughout this gripping adventure, familiar faces from the show offer assistance, while others harbour more sinister intentions. Well, you're so much more powerful than you even know. Like, if you tried pressing the summon magic button twice... Ah, for an added thrill, multiplayer options cater for up to four players. Engage in rabbit hunting madness in Bunny Catch, test your resilience against relentless waves of vampires in survival, or engage in fierce competition for dominance over the arena in domination mode. Now, if you're a fan of the show or just curious about this cult classic, then you're in for a treat. So, you know, don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button and ring the notification bell, you know, all that gubbins, um, to stay updated on all things retro gaming. All right, let's talk about Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Chaos Bleeds. Well, it was released back in 2003 for the PlayStation 2, Xbox and the GameCube, and it's a direct sequel to the Xbox-only video game Buffy the Vampire Slayer. This was developed by VU Games and is set as a missing episode from Season 5 of the television show. This game manages to capture the essence of the TV show whilst delivering its own unique spin on the story. Now then, what about that storyline, huh? Well, it's crafted like an extra episode of TV show, and it's nothing short of captivating, I can tell you. The old Hellmouth is acting up again, causing all sorts of chaos, including a little bit of dimension hopping. Ah, so you'll find yourself battling foes in various eerie locations, all whilst trying to prevent the apocalyptic plans of those notorious villains that we all love to hate. And I'll tell you something that I know everybody hates, bloody spoilers. So you know what, you've been warned. In this game Buffy discovers that Ethan Rain is at the centre of a great struggle with the first. The first is the first incarnation of evil the world has ever known. She and the gang must face an undead army of vampires, zombies, and demons, to keep these nefarious villains from casting the world into permanent darkness. The plot involves different alternate realities bleeding into Buffy's own reality, leading to the reappearance of deceased enemies and the appearance of evil versions of allies. With the help of Sid the Dummy and Ethan's ancestor Cassandra Rain, Buffy, and her friends, defeat the first in its own dimension and, though it can never be killed, they disperse it across multiple realities for centuries. <laughs> It's way more satisfying when I pretend they're all Spike. Not much to look at, are you? Considering it's a 2003 release, Chaos Bleeds brings an impressive visual experience to the table. The character models resemble their 
TV counterparts quite well, the atmospheric environments do justice to the show's spooky vibe, sound design complete with voice acting from the original cast adds an extra layer of immersion that fans will truly appreciate. Yeah, I, I, well you say original cast, but... As the voice of Buffy Summers and Anya, we have Giselle Loren, who is probably best known as the voiceover Buffy, having played Buffy in the first Xbox video game as well as the short-lived animated series. To learn. Mess with Buffy Summers, you're messing with the Slayer. Yeah. As Willow Rosenberg, we have Kerry Walgren, a well-established American actress and singer who has provided English language voices for animated movies, TV shows and video games, such as Rain Sage in Tales of Symphonia, Dorothy and the Wizard of Oz, Ben 10, Kung Fu Panda, Legend of Awesomeness, Fairly Odd Parents, and she even voiced lead character Ash in Final Fantasy XII, and Shrike in Dirge of Cerberus Final Fantasy VII. Don't take another step. The rest of the Buffy cast, however, are voiced by their on-screen counterparts. Xander Harris is voiced by Nicholas Brandon, Rupert Giles is voiced by Anthony Stewart Head, Faith is voiced by Elijah Dushku, Tara voiced by Amber Benson, and James Masters voices Spike the Reformed Vampire. As for soundtrack, it's atmospheric and fitting enough for the game, but I wouldn't really listen to it outside of the game itself. The iconic TV series theme is always fun to listen to, even if I do think it's the only song that Nerf Herder will ever be remembered for. Well, can you think of another song that they did off the top of your head? Please do put it in the comments down below if you can, because I'm drawing a blank. I, I say, that, that band name, is it uh... Yes, Keith, it is a Star Wars reference. Usually this is the part of the video where I'd give you a 30 second blast of the in-game music, but let's face it, now that I've mentioned it, you all know you want to hear it. In addition to the single player story mode, the game offers an array of diverse multiplayer experiences, including survival, where you engage in player versus player combat, bunny catcher, compete to capture rabbits faster than your opponent, slayer challenge, test your skills as a lone player against hordes of enemies, now, additional players can uh, control those adversaries, and domination, compete with fellow players to control mystical pentagrams for maximum duration. Initially, the game starts off with a single map, oh, the zone. and four playable characters, that be Buffy, Spark, Willow and Xander. However, as you progress through the main single player campaign and uncover secret areas, more content unlocks, including additional maps, oh, cemetery, uh, the initiative hangar, and the quarry, as well as characters. You know what, you can even unlock Josh Whedon as a playable character, and then watch him as he's bitten to death by the very things that he created. Hashtag say no to the Whedonverse. Hey, to add to the excitement, the game offers DVD style extras that can be unlocked by discovering hidden areas during the single player game. These extras encompass interviews, behind the scenes footage, and even the Chaos Bleeds tie in comic book. Well, there's also a novelisation that was published by Pocket Books. The author, James A. Moore, used the storyline originally developed for the game, don't you know? Review scores for Buffy the Vampire Slayer Chaos Bleeds varied across different platforms. The GameCube version garnered generally favourable reviews, whilst the PlayStation 2 and Xbox version received average reviews from aggregation site Metacritic. In a positive review, GameSpot lauded the game's music, atmospheric elements, engaging storyline and realistic combat mechanics, however critiqued the visuals as dated, repetitive puzzle design and a multiplayer mode that felt not well executed. Chaos Bleeds stands as a well-constructed action-adventure game that should appeal to most genre enthusiasts, particularly Buffy the Vampire Slayer fans. Ah, Chaos Bleeds is generally considered a less than stellar sequel in comparison to the 2002 Xbox exclusive game Buffy the Vampire Slayer. 
GameCell UK pointed out that other games perform its function more effectively, even citing the original Buffy game as an example. According to Xbox World Australia, the game manages to slightly enhance various aspects compared to its predecessor, offering a more accessible and less frustrating experience, although the multiplayer mode is criticised for its shallowness. The game's robust single player portion, featuring six distinctive playable characters, compensates for this shortcut. As a long time fan of the Buffy series, diving into Chaos Bleeds was like revisiting a beloved part of my early adult life. The game successfully captured the essence of the show, from the witty banter to the heart-pounding action. It's an absolute treat for fans looking to extend or relive their Buffy experience. Kakistos is dead, and so, by the way, are you. In a world where TV to game adaptations quite often fall flat, I do think that Buffy the Vampire Slayer Chaos Bleeds manages to stand out. Its engaging gameplay and strong storyline, not to mention its nostalgic charm, I think make this a must play for both fans of the show and retro video game fans looking for something new. If you haven't given this cult classic a shot, now might be the perfect time. It's quite easy to get a hold of on eBay or the uh, dreaded CEX, and a casual playthrough will only take you about nine hours. If you've got some fans of Buffy round for an evening, well you might be able to squeeze an extra few hours out of the multiplayer. And with that, ladles and jelly spoons, I think it's about time we brought this month's episode to a close, don't you? Ah, have you ever played Buffy the Vampire Slayer Chaos Bleed before? What did you think of it? Please do let us know in the comment section down below. And if you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to give us the old thumbs up and share it out with your fellow Buffy enthusiasts. As always, thanks for tuning in. Cheerio, we'll see you soon.